They believe that they could wrap it up. Queensland have got to remain solid. 20 to 12 the score in favour of the Blues. And the Blues with the ball through Stephen Menzies. 35 out from his own line. King, a long pass. And Nasta not going anywhere. Johns, he rifles the ball away. And it's gone from Cooper and gone to Gaznia. gaznia has got Cooper on his inside. He passes. He's away, Cooper. The Dragons have done it. The Dragons send a combination. Gaznia and Cooper. But Johns again. Johns is dominating. We'll see it again in just a moment. Here's a break. basically talk to our network stations taking us overseas we are just in a, a mini break here at the moment but you are watching the world's best in action and he's not up against just any old team this is a, a very very good representation of Queensland thousands of people here watching If that's the cauldron at Suncorp, this is the Coliseum in Sydney, the Olympic Stadium. The Blues out to 24-12 now. They would love this conversion to go over to put them further than two converted tries. Andrew Johns threw a great ball, but so too great the Nasta in that movement. They played a little bit of interchange here, and Nasta went to first receiver. Johns out wide. I love the way that Mark Gasnia just put the foot down, put his head back, took on Billy Slater and worried about what happened if he got caught. And what he was able to do was throw the football back inside to his Dragons teammate. John's here. It is a big quick kick for New South Wales. He has not had an easy one. Both from the same position, opposite side of the ground. Five in, 22 out. Strikes it, keeps it low. I think he's got it. He has. John's has kicked three from three. Phil Gould, sideline. Yeah, thanks, Ravis. Look, Ricky Stewart's has got to get a big pack on the back here. At half-time, or just before half-time, New South Wales will be behind on the scoreboard, and they'll be in a panic. He has settled them down at half-time. They've come out for the second 40 minutes, looking like a composed football team. The long passing from Andrew Johns in the first 40 minutes is starting to take effect. He's had Queensland sliding sideways, suddenly a couple of dummies, and he's got himself into the backfield. Now as Queensland compressed to try and get him, he gets the ball wide again and goes to Cooper and Gaznia. The game plan has been perfect for the Blues. Move them around, turn them around, and then come back through the middle. When they close up again, go wide again. The Blues are in control. Still 20 minutes left on the clock, but I like the look of this. The scary thing, of course, is that Andrew Johns, with just the one game under his belt since breaking the jaw, can only get better. That's impossible to believe, isn't it? But you would have to think he can only get better. Bailey plays the ball. The dearest passes. Johns kicks off the 30-metre line. It's a kick with some volume, but it's taken by the the flashy fullback Billy Slater. What a crowd pleaser. Michael Hagan, he's won one game this year from 15 matches at Premiership and, tri Premiership and Trial level. The one that he won was at Suncorp three weeks ago. Now it's gone from Ty Williams, it's gone to Ben Ross, and the Blues then have to muscle up. Three of them in the defence, making the tackle, and Ross... Getting up, he was hurt earlier in a what we thought might have been a high shot on him, but he, he's played the ball, has gone away to Slater, has gone out to Matt Singh, and Singh in his 23rd origin appearance has tackled 31 metres out from the Blues line. 26 to 12, he, he was hurt in that tackle, Singh, he's hard to hurt, he's very durable. Thurston will play it now. 25 out, five tackles gone, Queensland attacking now. Lock out with the left foot. There she goes, high and across towards Gaznia. Cooper tries to give him some cover. It came down off Queensland, I fancy, and it's gone into touch. In that situation, as a defender, you don't want to contest the football. Close to the sideline, let the opposition catch it, claim them if they do take it on the full. But it was better still, the ball went over the sideline as Bull Bailey. Tackled 15 out. Danny Badiris getting a break. Here's Simpson. Got his job done magnificently in the opening 15 minutes of the game for his coach. Blues started with Simpson and Bailey on the bench, and Simpson, he put his hand up and did a good job for Ricky Stewart. Now Hamarsh plays the ball, and away goes Craig Wing, scampering 
flashing down the middle of the ground, out towards the 40 metre line, taken down by Flannery, the lock forward, and Ross. Now Ryan out to the halfway line. They're making metres and metres from dummy half, just simple plays. Five tackles gone now as Ryan plays the ball and wing passes to uh, uh, Johns, and Johns puts a raking kick back and across for Slater to come off his 10 metre line. Co holds the ball in the one hand and tucks it. Oh, he throws a hospital pass. And Ty Williams is claimed by Matt King. Well, that's a Matt King special. He's had a big game tonight, Matt King. That's as good a tackle as you'd see for back into the game. Thorn taken down by Bailey's tackle. Ben Ross runs it straight and hard, runs it wing and Kennedy. And play is just 25 metres out from the Queensland line. Matt Singh, I told you he was hurt. He's come to the sidelines. It is 26 to 12 in favour of New South Wales, a game that has been inspired by the return of one of our game's greatest players, Matthew Johns. Now, it's gone with Cameron Smith. He dummies to Casey Maguire. He gets it outside the 40-metre line. Bailey hangs on. Highmarsh does the same. Simpson comes in. And Johns is there on camera as we promote again that opportunity to win the big money from VB. Here's Menzies picking up a bouncing ball and going for the... Going for the pace, he's tackled 45 metres out from the Queensland line. As Singh goes up the tunnel, it's played back and gone away. It's with Minicello, who's already got a couple in his bag tonight. Six overall in origin, but two tonight. And Minicello will play the ball. Braith Anasta is the dummy half. Gaznia is left, Kennedy is right. It is with Anasta. He goes to Kennedy, he runs towards Gaznia. Now he tries to straighten off his left foot. He's tackled 28 away from the line. And a couple of metres in from the western touchline. Gaznia dummy half now. Off it goes to Anasta. Puts on the sprint. Turns it back to Heimarsh. And Heimarsh is tackled. And it was a good tackle by Casey Maguire. Now from wing. It's gone out to Johns. Here he is again, Johns. Out it goes to Menzies. Menzies is tackled two metres out from the line. Quick play the ball. The Blues. They put a kick in. Michael Crock has got the ball. And he's tackled 15 out from his line. The ordinary finish to a great set of six there by the Blues. But let's see what Queensland have got. They seem bereft of ideas as to how to crack this Blues line. They've had no football. Little men like this man, Sean Berrigan. Yes, dummy half run. That's a good 10, 12 metres. The fatty, the problems that they've got is not only the scoreboard, but the fact no Carl Webb or Matt Singh. Now they're going to try and get this done with, with just 15 players. That's going to be a task. Some... Fancy play, or attempted fancy play by Thurston. It went down to Flannery, fortunately for Queensland. Bowman off one knee, back and going again. But Wing is there to make the tackle with Heinmarsh and Cooper. Played back to Ross, and it's gone back to Lockyer, who reaches back. Then he puts a kick in for Slater. Slater's looking for the bounce. It's come down off the Blues, and it's come away with Kennedy. I thought there might have been a touch of a knock on there. Cooper goes up the middle, and Cooper is tackled by Ben Ross and by Paul Bowman. Played just inside their own 40 meter line as Gaznia invites Ben Ross to get involved. 26 12, the Blues leading with about 14 minutes of the game remaining. And here is Heinmarsh to the halfway. He's away from one, he's through another. It's a stampeding run by the Parramatta back rower. He will play it on the Queensland 40 meter line. He will play it back to fullback Minicello, who decides to run a couple of paces before giving it to Riles, and that line is the 30-metre line. That's the Queensland room. Matt Singh mounting the repair bench. It's gone now from a Johns, and it's gone out to Big King, and King is tackled 21 metres away as they run towards that northeastern corner. It's come back to Johns in the middle of the ground. He puts the kick up, and Gasly is underneath it. The bat down has come down for Queensland. It's gone forward off the Blues. It's turnover Queensland. Well, that'll be the plan for New South Wales in the remaining 13 minutes. Get a good kicking game going. Play it at this end of the field. It's just a fence now for them, isn't it? They've got some wonderful defenders out there. And players like Nathan Highmarsh, of course, what he made, about 48 tackles in the first State playing? of Origin match. Tonight, only 20, and that's why he's been a lot more effective in attack. He's made a couple of busts in the last five minutes. 25 metres out from their own line, the Queenslanders. As it goes from Smith and then to Thurston, then to Lockyer. Johns came up awkwardly and missed him badly. 20, 
30 metres out from the Queensland line. From Smith, it's gone over to Flannery, drifts the pass across to Ty Williams, and King has put him into touch. He thrusts the ball back in field for Michael Crocker, and Crocker is held there by Riles and by Wing. He got the ball away to Cameron Smith, and Cameron um, stops in his tracks as he hears the call from Flannery. Flannery's tackled right on halfway. Played there in the Harvey Norman sign. It comes away from Thurston, gone to Lockyer. Short ball. Here he goes. Matty Bowen. Matty Bowen at full pace. Bowen scores. Another origin try. Magnificent stuff from uh, Matt Bowen. We'll take a break. Back in a moment. There's not too many people leaving, are there? But just again, seeing this little bloke, and I, I probably had the audacity to compare him with Clive Church in a match I called the other night. The same size, and he's just as brilliant. Try scorer Matt Bowen on camera. That's his third origin try in his seventh origin game. And when you don't think you're in trouble, when you think you're comfortable, that's a problem. They come wide on the Bundy Rum Telestrator. If he frees it there, you can see that the ball carrier has been able to attract two defenders. And this man, just behind, doesn't even look like he's in the play, but he's going to explode through, in that, through that gap as play continues. Matt Cooper was sliding, trying to stay to his man. And then it was a foot race. No one's going to cover Matt Bowen with 40 metres of free grass to run. Well, you cannot write them off. Write them off at your own peril. It was a beautifully delayed pass by Locker. Matt Bowen scores. They're back into it. And that'll lift them. This will lift them. He can get the, kick this one. Five in from touch. 22 out from the western side for the Melbourne Storm representative, one of three of them. Cameron Smith bangs it. It's gone out in front of the upright, so he's missed it from an acute angle. Andrew, sideline, 10-point ball game. Oh, how exciting is it, though, with Matty Bowen? He's on for the injured Matt Singh, but it's quite obvious his instructions from the bench just be where the ball is. Look, he's that quick when he gets in the clear. Even his shadow has trouble keeping up with him. What an exciting player. Well, this might sound a bit strange, but the pressure is actually on New South Wales now. They're probably the team looking nervously over their shoulder. Queensland get a second chance. New South Wales, are they looking at the scoreboard? They're looking at the clock. And when you start doing that, it can lead to problems. If Queensland can run something in here in the next couple of minutes, to say New South Wales very nervous because they know that it's, it's everything or nothing. Brad Thorne, first in for Flannery, and Flannery is held and taken down by Gasner, and also by Cooper that time. And then first in again, Thorne on a short pass, is out to the 40-metre line. He'll play the ball 20 metres in from touch on the western side, playing it back to Smith. Oh, yeah, we know about their comebacks, all right. Wally in 89, Coyne in 94, Carlo in 2002. They just keep doing it. So it's a Nasta now. And then it's with Minocello. But Thurston has got him. He, well, he had him. Flannery's got him now. Thurston dropped off that tackle. 40 metres out. And here's Cooper. Picked up a try for the Blues. He tries to step between a couple of tired forwards. Work there on the right ankle of Badiris. And the ball is like gold now for New South Wales. The opposition cannot score. But they are in possession. Riles goes centre field. Nasta to the left, Johns to the right. It's a wing to Johns again. And here is Simpson! And I thought for a moment he was going to be able to unload to a player running free inside. Here is Craig Wing. Off his right, off his left. They've grabbed him. The ball goes to ground. Queensland win the race for the crumbs. And Thurston will play the ball. Ten out from his own line. Flannery finding Bowman. Bowman changes direction. Goes outside the 20-metre line. 26-16, seven and a half minutes to go. Seven to see, but thunders over the 20-metre line. Badiris getting some attention to the toe. And he's got the boots back on, so the captain will probably come back and finish the game. 
It's been a magnificent effort by him. It's been a non-stop performance. And it would be a shame if they do win that he's not out there at full time. But they haven't won yet. The Maroons have not given up on this one. No way, no. 26-16 with Lockyer running across, putting in a kick. that's screwing back, but it's screwed right back into the arms of Gaznia. And while on Lockyer, what a beautiful pass it was from Lockyer that found Bowen. A master from dummy half for Kennedy, and he thumps himself into Bowen, and Bowen goes back and has another piece of him. The little Queensland, the Cowboys, North Queensland Cowboys, Fullback. He's out there on the wing at the moment. Here is Ryle thrusting it back for wing and wing to Johns and Johns calling Ryan to come inside and Ryan runs into Maguire and Maguire was first there to make the tackle but the second man in to make the tackle was Thor and they're on the halfway line and wing tries to generate Hindmarsh. Hindmarsh gets the ball out the back. Wing is there again. Ball goes out to Johns. Was it forward? It's gone to King. King 32 metres out from the Queensland line. Now we're coming up to the 74th minute of the game and it's come away to wing again he's been very very good hasn't he now it's gone on to Johns Johns to King and there has to be a blemish yeah once again they failed to complete their set of six giving Queensland a few chances here they're deep in their own territory Queensland but they have got the speed will it be a Lockyer Billy Slater play a penalty that'll help it's given penalised hanging around in the tackle on Ty Williams for two Queensland now. Let's check everything. 74 and a half minutes gone. Six and a half minutes to go. Ten points behind. Never have they won at Telstra. As it goes away with Smith and he's put down by Johns. That was a thumping tackle by the number seven. As it comes on to Thurston on the 40 to Lockyer, they put players in motion. Oh, Bowen is knocked on! And that's the, the advantage to the Blues, and Cooper came up with the ball, and Nasta actually gave him a push and said it's up that way. Played by Cooper, Gasney, and the Dragons combined. Cooper, Gasney, Ryan. They've left their mark on the game as well, the, the red and white team. As it goes away now for Kennedy! been strong Kennedy with some of those surging runs but dearest for Fitzgibbon now and he's 19 out from the Maroons line played back to Badiris who gets it away for Johns he switches it back into the short side for Anasta and Braith plays the ball Badiris goes to Johns off his right foot try Badiris has scored his second origin try in as many games the Newcastle captain to the New South Wales captain and Danny Badera scores Origin 2 will go to the Blues now well, the Queensland coach Michael Hogan will hope that he sees plenty of that in the second half of the season at club level and Newcastle number 7 to the Newcastle number 9 look at him bouncing around Andrew Johns worried about his fitness He's, he looks like a 12 year old out there precision ball between Queensland defenders that wraps it up and what's the maestro in action sums up the situation the ball out in two hands could run it yeah that'll do it for you the maestro is struck again he went searching for someone he three times he went to the right and came back to the left looking for support on the third occasion he found a man in open space Danny Baderas is trailing up from the dummy half area it's given Sixteen metres away from the line. And he's about the same in from the Western touchline. So the Blues, with five tries, five goals, make that six now. They lead by 32 points to 16. At the 78th minute, we are headed for Suncorp. We are headed for a decider. The crowd here tonight, 82,389. That is capacity. And they've had a joyous night. Absolutely thrilled by the performance, the return of Andrew Johns, who embraced what Alan Langer did in 2001. Fiddler did it last year, but their job was nowhere near as complicated as the one served up to Johns tonight. 15 out from the New South Wales line. 21 
one meters out from the Blues line. It's out to Johns again. And now it's away for Ryan and Ryan to Menzies. Menzies taken down. He was a reserve forward for the game, but they always had the safety net with Menzies. If an outside back got hurt, he'd be there. His Gaznia and Gaznia will play the ball on halfway. One and three quarter minutes of the second origin to go. The Harvey Norman series is going to Suncorp for a decider. Michael Crocker taken down. Let's go to Andrew, sideline in the dying seconds. Yeah, Ray, quick word with Andrew, John's father, Gary, front row seats, and haven't you enjoyed the show tonight from your son? Unbelievable, eh? More than we expected. We thought he'd play well, but I didn't think he'd play this well. Good on you, Gary. Back to you, Raps. Yes, a very proud dad. And I'm sure there's another 33 proud dads out there watching this game somewhere tonight because you'd have to be proud to have a kid come through to play at this level of rugby league. Played by Sibbon to Sieber. It's gone on to Thurston. He turns it to Flannery. It goes to Bowen. Bowen is held 20 metres out from the Blues line. Five tackles gone, indicated by Stephen Clark in his third origin tonight. Here's the banana or the hook ball back across from Lockyer. Marked by Kennedy, put down by Gaznia. And uh, it's going to be a scrum to restart play. Timeout is called. There's yeah. a player down injured, I fancy. We'll forgive Ben Kennedy for that one. What a game he's had. The only scary thing about Kennedy tonight, and you've heard me rap him a lot tonight, but a couple of times when they've got a little bit desperate, he's been the one probably pushing the pass that wasn't necessary to push. 32 to 16 though it's now looking comprehensive the rebound is okay for Lockyer to pick up recover and go on he runs into Kennedy and Kennedy's there with Riles they're 10 meters out right in front of the uprights just the last half a minute of the game remaining now five meters away from the Blues line Bowen and Sivan Asiva getting it together Sivan Asiva's over the big fellow has forced his way over backwards I might add but Sivan Asiva has scored right on full time. 32 points to 20. He's going forward, but he scores the try going backwards. That might be tautological, but it's true. Petro, is that his first try? Yes, it is. That's the first time he's been over the stripe in origin football adjacent to the uprights your final score will almost definitely be 32 to 22. smith from 10 outs practically in front there it is and that is the end of it origin two is over the wizard blues have won the game 32 points to 22.